732-737-7369 or after hours, 912-294-6140. The staff at Morton Collision Center works with all insurance companies. So for guaranteed work with a qualified staff, go to Morton Collision at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton Collision, quality you can see. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for a look at least in local news. In the news, the Wayne County Sheriff's Department reports a fatal traffic accident which occurred graduation night in Wayne County. It occurred on Oglethorpe Road. Georgia State Patrol now in charge of the investigation. 37-year-old Tiffany James of Jessup was killed in the crash. Her funeral was set for Thursday at 11 a.m. at Altamont Baptist Church with Reverend Jack Lee and Devin Mixon officiating. Reinhardt and Sons Funeral Home was in charge of all the arrangements. A report from the Georgia State Patrol was that it was a head-on collision on Oglethorpe Road. Vehicle 1 was driven by 28-year-old Clinton, Waston, Clinton Watson of Jessup. He was traveling east on Oglethorpe Road in a 2017 Dodge Ram truck and struck the 2016 Ford Escape. Driven by Tiffany James, can report to her that Watson was traveling in excess speed of over 100 miles an hour. After collision, the report states the vehicle 1 continued east before it left the roadway, entered her pond. Vehicle 2 left the roadway, overturned in a ditch. Tiffany James was pronounced dead at the scene. Clinton Watson was flown to Savannah by AirVac. The report says there was one child in each vehicle, but both children were unharmed. The report says minor injuries to the children. Once again, the Georgia State Patrol in charge of the investigation. Again, the accident occurred Friday afternoon around 6.30 p.m. graduation night. Savannah Police Department reports that one of their officers, Anthony Christie, was killed in one of the three crashes on I-16 early Friday morning. First crash happened around 3 a.m. near the Dean Forest Road exit. A serious injury is reported with the crash. Second crash happened nearby not long after the first crash, further extending the eastbound lane closures. Officials reported that a truck crashed into Savannah Police Cruiser that had responded to the first crash. Georgia State Patrol in charge of the investigation led reports of a third crash in the area around 5.30 in the morning. Reports state that two vehicles were involved in this crash. A white car crashed into another car sending it into road sign and then into a ditch. Both drivers had to be taken to a hospital. Some other drivers on the road got a surprise when they were ticketed while the crash were at the crash scene as they were being as the crash scene was being investigated. Police citing people for holding their cell phones out the window trying to take pictures and videos of the crash scene. Florida police say they're not joking when it comes to keeping both hands on the wheel, especially over the holiday weekend. All three of the crashes caused hours of delays on I sixteen. Traffickers were at a standstill until police cut off I sixteen at I ninety five forcing drivers to use alternate routes. Tour State Patrol says again that all three crashes remain under investigation. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. The Trademark at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at the Trademark, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The Trademark. The tool supply place. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties since 1998. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the local nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our administrative office is located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, and Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak with someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice, and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia working to add life to your days. Do you need a new lawnmower? If so, head to Night Saw Company in Baxley. Choose from a large selection of name brand mowers. Night Saw Company offers the best lawnmowers at the best prices anywhere. They also have in stock belts, batteries, and parts for all mowers, along with name brand trimmers, blowers, and hedge trimmers. For over 50 years, Wayne Countyans have been getting their power lawn equipment and parts from Knights. Night Saw Company on the Jessup side of Baxley on Highway 341. 
Wayne County High School graduation held Friday night at J.C. Stadium. There's always a good crowd on hand as approximately 320 seniors walked across the stage, received their high school diploma. Both the valedictorian and salutatorian spoke at the ceremony. Here is this year's valedictorian, Christina Thomas. Good evening, honored guests, administration, teachers, family, friends, and all of the siblings who were forced to show up and look excited for you guys, the class of 2018. When we were in pre-K, academic achievement was awarded with gold stars and stickers. In elementary school, we got buzz bucks and saved them tirelessly for a trip to the school store where we were able to purchase overpriced Dollar Tree items. In eighth grade, Martha Puckett gave us a carnival. That was cool, and it's one of the many reasons MPMS is the best middle school in town, just saying. And now, in high school, the supposed smart people get to do what many people rank higher than death on their list of fears, public speaking. If this is what growing up is like, I don't wanna. When my brother found out that I was giving this speech, he reminded me of one of his favorite quotes, so I thought I would share it. It goes like this. Some days you're the dog, and other days you're the fire hydrant. Unless, of course, you're Ford Towns and then you're always the fireman. <laughs> now, my first reaction to his quote was my initial reaction to most things. Um, what? But then I thought about it, and I think he's got a good point. I mean, you would all agree with me when I say that high school had some bad days. EOCs, GPAs, ACTs, SATs, and every other acronym possible was crammed down our throats. Freshman year, we couldn't even have our phones out at lunch, at least not when Widener was around. The 400 hall windows are high enough off the ground to remind you of a prison. Several of our science teachers have metal rods to drop at their wheel. And our principal is an Auburn fan. So yeah, we've had some fire hydrant days. But we had dog days too. Each of us is here on this field today with memories that, was, that we will take with us for the rest of our lives. I'll never forget the day Adrian and Sydney Grace and I became the first girls swim relay from Wayne County High School to qualify for state in over a decade. We ate pizza afterwards, it was awesome. <laughs> Another unforgettable moment was Fields of Faith right here in JC Stadium, watching Wayne County lift up the name of Jesus Christ. I've got countless more memories and I know you do too. Through it all, I think the most practical thing I learned is best summed up by the great philosopher and economist, Franklin Gwill. He says, there's no such thing as free lunch. Turns out, Mr. Gwill wasn't just talking about the stuff we eat. He was actually low-key telling us to work our butts off because success in life isn't served to you on a silver platter. Each small victory is earned in the early mornings and late nights, one through the day-to-day -day consistency and persistence that it has taken for us to get where we are right now. It's not the smartest, prettiest, wealthiest, or funniest people who make it the farthest in life. It's the people who see suffering through hard things as a launching ramp, not a wall. As Fulton, the high school musical guy we hated, almost as much as Sharpay put it, what we need from you is not inspiration, but perspiration. The high school musical's for you, Emily. And from middle school on, it's been people like Emily, Becca, Andrew, Peyton, to name just a few, that have been there to remind me that there are no shortcuts when it comes to hard work. Of all the people in my life, I have my parents to thank the most for teaching me that. I would also like to thank my family and friends for putting up with me, as well as the teachers I have had over the last 14 years. Thank you to my swim coaches who have helped me not drown. And above all, I thank God for the opportunity that he has given me alongside you all to be a yellow jacket for life. In closing, I want to remind you that life in real time is messy. The fingerprints of God are often invisible until you look at them in the rear view mirror, but I promise you they are there. So going forward with him is really more about who you are becoming than where you're going. It's less about the ins and outs of what you do and more about how well you do everything that you do, about how often you reach into the lives of others and lift them up. So challenge yourself and chase your dreams and never forget to hug all the people who help you along the way. I wish you all the best. Thank you and go Jackets. And once again, those comments of valedictorian Christina Thomas, who will head to Georgia Tech in the fall. Wednesday, we'll hear from the salutatorian Andrew James McGraw. Now that the primaries are over, the runoffs are set for July 24th, so the fireworks will begin really after the July 4th fireworks across the state. Locally, a runoff for the county commission seat in District 3 between incumbent Mike Roberts and challenger Farrell Cooksey, who nudged Larry Brantley in a three-man race on the 22nd of May. Winner of the roberts Cooksey race will square off against Democratic candidate in District 3, Kenny Teston. All other runoffs are statewide, including the Republican nomination for governor between Casey Cagle and Brian Kemp. And the winner of that runoff between Cagle and Kemp will meet Stacey Abrams, the Democratic candidate for governor in the state of Georgia. Once again, the runoff date is July 24th. Early voting will take place as well. WIFO will continue to follow the elections in July and November. In November, a very important East Boss vote on the ballot is the Wayne County Board of Education 
Hopes to extend these plots for expenditures and projects. Main project will be the renovation of James E. Bacon Elementary. The board also will continue to purchase new school buses and technology equipment. The board meets this Thursday in a call meeting at 5 p.m. for a budget work session and discussion of their proposed 2018-2019 budget. Again, that call meeting is set for this Thursday, 5 p.m. at the Tech Center, May 31st. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. The Trademark at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at the Trademark, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The Trademark, the tool supply place. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. Did you know that one in five Americans is diagnosed with skin cancer in their lifetime? Dr. Michael Sharkey, a board-certified dermatologist and Mohs surgeon specializing in skin cancer, and Mrs. Heather Neesmith and Mrs. Lindsay Bookhart, physician assistants and MCG graduates, welcome new patients of all ages for all of your skin needs. Georgia Dermatology is a general and surgical dermatology practice specializing in the treatment of all types of skin disorders, removal of skin cancers, and Mohs skin cancer surgery. May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. Call today at 427-4267 to set up your appointment with Georgia's premier dermatologist and skin cancer specialist with locations in Jessup and Waycross. For more information, visit us online at gadurham.com. We are having a great day at CHSGA Home Health. We know there's no place like home when recovering from an illness or surgery. CHSGA Home Health provides the compassionate care and services you or a loved one is in need of. Our services include skilled nursing, physical, occupational, speech therapy, and IV medication therapy. CHSGA Home Health has multiple disease management programs designed to meet your individual needs. Give us a call to hear more about how we can help you to have a great day as you recover in the comforts of your home. 912-916-9195. That's CHSGA. GA Home Health. Final notes and news. Wayne County Catfish Tournament served this weekend, June 2nd and 3rd on the Altamar River. Sign-ups are still underway. The tournament begins at noon on Saturday, continues until Sunday at 2 p.m. This year's event offers fishermen the opportunity to win a $7,500 first place prize with payouts for other places determined on the number of entries into the event. Weigh in and tournament headquarters once again at JC Fairgrounds, JC Landing. Those fishing in the tournament can put in anywhere on the Altamar River, but they must be in line at weigh-in by Sunday at 2 p.m. Tournament officials ask those entering the event to come by the fairgrounds to receive their T-shirts. Entry fee into the event is $100 per fisherman. Registration can be done online at active.com, or it can be dropped off at the Wayne County Tourism Board office at the Jessup Train Depot. Need more information, call the Tourism Board office at 427-3233, or check out their event website at waynetourism.com. Again, the Catfish Tournament is set for this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, June 2nd and 3rd. Wayne County High School summer school registration will be May 31st this Thursday in room 222 at the high school from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Need more information? Contact Dr. Blackwell. The number 427-1087 extension 222. Also Thursday, blood drive at Wayne Memorial Hospital from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the blood mobile adjacent to the exterior of the cafe. Appointments can be made by calling 1-800 Red Cross or visiting the website redcrossblood.org. Entering WMH when asked for a sponsor code. Walk-ins are welcome. All blood types are needed. Again, the community blood drive set for Thursday, May 31st from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Way Memorial Hospital. A couple of dates in June to mark on your calendar. Saturday, June 9th, the Pine Forest Country Club Summer Social. Open to the public, $15 per person. Must be 21 to enter. Entertainment by the local band Second Chance. Music from 8.30 to 11.30 at Luau Theme. Come out and kick off the summer with the annual Pine Forest Country Club Summer Social. Saturday, June 9th. Again, doors open at 7. Music begins at 8.30. Also this year in June, the annual 4th of July celebration in Scriven. The date Saturday, June 30th. Second Chance Band will be performing there as well. They'll take the stage at 7, play up until the fireworks that night. Full day of activities planned. If you'd like to set up a booth, call Scriven City Hall at 579-2211. July 4th falls on a Wednesday this year, so the celebration date in Scriven is Saturday, June 30th. And the best fireworks show in the South, Second Chance Band, the entertainment, all set for Saturday, June 30th in Scriven, Georgia. 
That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan said, have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. Advance Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup is your one-stop health shop for most all your health care needs. They offer same-day appointments, and walk-ins are welcome for medical, chiropractic, physical therapy, and massage therapy care for immediate treatment and pain relief for injuries and illnesses of all conditions. Advanced Healthcare specializes in the treatment of spinal and joint pains, headaches, neurological and muscle conditions, and family medical needs. Advanced Healthcare accepts and files most major insurance plans, accepts motor vehicle and workers' comp cases, and they make self-pay plans affordable for everyone so you can get the care you need right away. Call or walk in to Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup or visit their website at ahc4health.com to explore the many ways they can quickly serve you. Advanced Healthcare Center, serving the Wayne County area for over 27 years. Feel better today. Dude. Some of those pushy city boy car guys have copped an attitude. Hey, the attitude at Woody Folsom Overflow Center in Jessup is do business. You said it. This is Woody inviting you in for sales and service. We always give you more car for your money and more money for your car. Say bye-bye to pushy car guy and howdy to cousin Woody. This is Lynn Tudin, Woody Jessup General Manager, inviting all my friends from Pierce, Warrior, Charlton, Bacon, and Brantley Counties to come see us in Jessup. Ask about that free lifetime power. Power train warranty. Hey, we're trucking. Every car, truck, and SUV has undergone a rigorous inspection and is road ready and priced to move, baby, move. Well, speaking of moving, I just love my new neighbor Florence from New Jersey. She's got this plaque that says, I ain't from the South, but I got here as quick as I could. Woody <laughs> Folsom Overflow, North First in Jessup. Get here as quick as you can. Tell it, girl. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for details. Good morning, everyone. We begin our Tuesday with cloudy skies. We've got a 40% chance of showers or storms through the day. It'll be breezy, warm, and humid. Highs today in the mid-80s. Wednesday and Thursday, we've got a 60% chance of afternoon and early evening showers and thunderstorms. Both days have highs in the mid-80s. Friday, though, we scale back a little from the water, keep the clouds. Highs will be in the mid to upper 80s. I'm Georgia meteorologist Laura Huckabee in the GNN Weather Center. Seasons change. Quality of service does it. For 75 years, First Franklin Financial has been serving the financial needs of your friends and neighbors. You can always depend on the caring staff to be there when you need them. Drop by and see your friendly Franklin folks at 1074 North Macon Street or give them a call at 427-4237 or apply online at 1FFC.com. All loans are subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that B&C Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. WIFO-FM Big Dog Country. Time to check your birthdays and anniversaries. Brought to you today by Bardron Power Sports. I would like to wish a happy birthday to Leslie Westbury from your hubby, Shelton Westbury. So, Leslie Westbury celebrating today. Birthday wishes for Leslie Westbury from your husband, Shelton, this morning. Robin Eubanks State Farm List today. Uh, Baxter Ray celebrating. Baxter Ray on the list. Baxter Ray. Ricky Thompson as well. Ricky Thompson. Gina Jeffords is celebrating. Gina Jeffords and Laura Gregory. Laura Gregory rounding out the 29th on the Robin Eubanks List on this Tuesday morning. 29th Long County calendar. Happy anniversary to Gary and Wanda Swindell. Gary and Wanda Swindell are uh, celebrating an anniversary today on the Long County calendar. Text Osos at 912-427-3711. 
This birthday was yesterday, the 28th. We did the 28th uh, on Friday. We covered all our bases there, but this one came in yesterday. And this is for Grayson Thornton. Happy 8th birthday to my grandson, Grayson Thornton, from Grandma, Nanny, Papa, Aunt Stacy, Uncle Rusty, Connor, Cohen, and Kelly wishing Grayson Thornton. Happy 8th birthday, Grayson Thornton, this morning. All right, looking at uh, this, I don't see any other birthdays here, so you've got time to shoot one in via text right now at 912-427-3711. This is like the slowest week of the year for birthdays. You've got the Memorial Day holiday. A lot of people just turn it into uh, vacation time, and you can tell from the traffic out there this morning about two-thirds less than normal. Happy birthday to Katie Beth Pritchett. Katie Beth Pritchett from Jean and Patty. That's today for Katie Beth Pritchett. Pritchett from Gene and Patty this morning. Famous birthdays today, actress Lisa Welchel is 55. Here today at the Magic Kingdom with Lisa Welchel, star of Facts of Life. Lisa is a motivational speaker. She's an author of many books. LaToya Jackson is 62. This week in Today newspaper, Michael Jackson's sister, LaToya. Find out what life is really like behind the scenes with my glamorous family. And read the book they didn't want me to write. I don't hold anything back. And Bob Hope was born on this date in 1903. Hey, this is Bob for Texaco Hope in the Gulf of Mexico. When you come this far out for oil, you usually have to drill in deeper water. Not too long ago, we could only operate in shallow water. Happy birthday to Granny Judy Starling from your children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. We love you. Judy Starling, Granny Judy Starling from your children, great-grandchildren, and grandchildren. Judy Starling, we love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Larry Cooper. Larry Cooper, love you from your daughter Gayla and all the family. Larry Cooper is celebrating. Birthday wishes to Larry Cooper from your daughter Gayla and all the family this morning. Got another text here. All right, that was the Judy Starling text. All right, we're going to break for Barger and Power Sports. We'll come back with your Big Dog Country Birthday Cake winner. We'll do that right after this. Barger and Power Sports invites everyone to come visit their unbelievable new showroom on Highway 301 South in Jessup and on Highway 341 in Brunswick. They have a great selection of ATVs, golf carts, mowers, and more. Barger and Power Sports carries Arctic Cat four-wheelers and side-by-sides, the new popular Canyon four-wheelers and side-by-sides, cruise carts, and Yamaha golf carts. Barger has the full line of Kimco scooters. Don't forget, Barger and Power Sports offers a complete service department for all your service and repair needs. Stop by today and check out Bartram Power Sports, Highway 301 South in Jessup, and their new location on Highway 341 next to I-95 in Brunswick. Your Big Dog Country Birthday Cake winner on this Tuesday morning. Happy 8th birthday to Grayson Thornton. That was yesterday. Grayson picks up the cake from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. That certificate is here at the station. You come by, you pick that it up. It's good for today. Only head to the pig and claim your prize. Bartram Power Sports brings you the birthdays and anniversaries. Brunswick, Jessup, online, BartramPowerSports.com. Everybody here at WIFO, we're wishing Grayson Thornton happy 8th birthday. That was yesterday. He's the Big Dog Country birthday cake winner. Well, kind of back to normal here on, on this short work week as we are unofficially in the uh, summer. You can tell I think a lot of people are out on vacation because that, uh, the majority of the traffic in the morning, I never realized how much was school-related. Happy birthday. Grayson Thornton was eight yesterday and picks up the cake from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. This is Charles Huffman at Jessup Housing Outlet. If you haven't been to Jessup Housing Outlet lately, you're missing out on a large selection of new and exciting floor plans from the nation's top manufacturers like Clayton, Fleetwood, Scottbilt, and Homes of Merit. All of our homes feature modern kitchens and appliances, R60 and higher insulation values, thermal pane windows, and energy-efficient heat pumps. We have two locations to serve you, 2452 Savannah Highway in Jessup and Highway 301 South between I-16 and the bypass in Statesboro. Come see Charles Bay or share it today. For all your medical needs, Tim's Home Medical on South First Street in Jessup has you covered. Oxygen, CPAP equipment, wheelchairs, walkers, hospital beds, plus specialty medical equipment from a local company that cares. Tim's Home Medical can handle Medicare, Medicaid, and private insurance billing, as well as family records for tax purposes. Tim's Home Medical, owned and operated by Tim Sloan, 918 South First Street in Jessup. Tim's Home Medical. Call 385-2490, 385-2490. At 7.38 here at the Big Dog WIFOFM, let's get a look at uh, your, your GNN Weather Center forecast on this. Uh, you know what the weather forecast is going to be. 
Good morning, everyone. We begin our Tuesday with cloudy skies. We've got a 40% chance of showers or storms through the day. It'll be breezy, warm, and humid. Highs today in the mid-80s. Wednesday and Thursday, we've got a 60% chance of afternoon and early evening showers and thunderstorms. Both days have highs in the mid-80s. Friday, though, we scale back a little from the water, keep the clouds. Highs will be in the mid to upper 80s. I'm Georgia meteorologist Laura Huckabee in the GNN Weather Center. River level is at 8.9 feet. That's rising, 8.9 and rising river level. We've got a high tide this morning at 836, uh, 6.4 feet. Low this afternoon, 253. High again tonight, 906, 7.4 feet. Sunset is at 826. Temperatures in the uh, low to mid 70s. 74 here at the Big Dog WIFOFM Eugene and Weather Center forecast on FM 105.5. At uh, 7.39, time to check in with state news from GNN, brought to you by England's Mobile Glass and England's Collision Center. England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass. You know a good feeling is when you pick up your car satisfied. England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass, serving our community for over 20 years for all your collision and windshield needs. England's Collision Center, located at 586 Southwest Broad Street. 912-588-9922. From the Georgia 811 Call Before You Dig News Center, I'm Matt Cook with the Georgia News Network. Alberto is no longer a subtropical storm, but it's still a weather maker. GNN meteorologist John Weatherby. What's left of Alberto is basically due west of us, traveling northward through the state of Alabama. It will continue to track into the Tennessee Valley and continue to weaken. But the wet side of the storm continues to be the east side of the storm, and that covers the state of Georgia. And much of the state remains under a flood watch until tomorrow morning. We may see a couple of inches of rain still, maybe more, before the storm completely passes. Two residents in northeast Atlanta say they were able to walk away safely after a huge oak tree fell in Inman Park, probably because of the rain. One driver was traveling down a a road when the tree slammed onto her car. A bicyclist jumped from his bike and ran away just in time. Minor injuries and cuts and bruises is all. The fallen tree caused a power outage in the neighborhood. Dozens of Memorial Day ceremonies yesterday across the state, including a big one in Roswell, billed as the largest in the state, or at least one of the largest in the state. This woman tells CBS 46. I wanted to teach my sons about all the people who've given their lives so that we can enjoy the freedom we have here. During the ceremony, a wreath was laid at the Roswell Faces of War Memorial Fountain. The Georgia Department of Natural Resources is facing a shortage of game wardens in 43 counties. Fifty positions are expected to be filled in time for training in January. You have to be a certified police officer to take on the position of a game warden. They're in charge of patrolling state parks and wildlife management areas, as well as enforcing hunting, fishing, and environmental laws. Delta uniforms getting a new look. More than 60,000 Delta employees, including flight attendants, switching from the traditional red and blue to a collection that features the new color that they call Passport Plum. We call it purple. I'm Matt Cook with the Georgia News Network. Summer camps should be fun, but it's also important that summer camps be a safe place for children to play and learn. Ask these questions. Is the camp licensed or exempt? Are the staff screened and how? Are the staff trained in CPR and first aid? Be a wise consumer in selecting the right camp experience for your child. Visit qualityrated.org or call 1-877-ALL-GA-KIDS. A message from the Georgia Department of Early Care and Learning and Quality Care for Children. Landscaping, spring tree planting, septic issues, whatever the digging project, contact Georgia 811 online or by phone at least two business days before you begin, even for something as simple as a mailbox installation. Use this free service for every digging project every time. Know what's below. Contact Georgia 811 to keep yourself, your home, and your community safe. Keep vital underground utilities intact. Visit Georgia811.com or dial 811. Safe digging starts when you contact Georgia 811. WIFOFM is Big Dog Country at 742. Let's uh, zoom in on over there on the uh, Sportscape webcam. All right. Looks like he's putting the finishing touches on sports. Head enjoy this morning here in just a few minutes. But it is time for the Family Minute with Mark Merrill, brought to you by Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology. 
Dr. Harris and the staff of Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology want to wish the Wayne County Yellow Jackets the best this season. Dr. Jeffrey Harris offers comprehensive care for women in Jessup, Wayne County, and the neighboring areas. He is board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, and family practice. Dr. Harris offers health care to women in any stage of life. Call them at 530-7301. That's 530-7301. Go Jackets! What did I learn from a fight with my wife? I'm Mark Merrill with today's Family Minute. Last night, Susan and I got into an argument. So is this simply a confession? No. I'd like for good to come out of it. So here are the cardinal relationship rules that I broke last night. First, I broke our 9 p.m. curfew on having serious discussions. We're usually tired and cranky after that time, so we shouldn't talk about important topics. Last night, it was really late, about 11.30. Second, I broke the one-issue rule. Only talk about one issue at a time with your spouse. I let one small issue become many issues. For the rest of the rules I broke and how I made it right, go to my blog at markmerrill.com. Remember, your family first. Submit your dad for the Omaha Stakes All-Pro Dad of the Year at omahastakes.com backslash dad of the year. Here's Big Dog Country. It's one-stop shopping for your home at Badcock Home Furniture More in Jessup. Badcock offers a full range of furniture, bedding, appliances, electronics, accessories, and floor coverings with the brand names you know and trust. Choose from a product line of more than 4,000 items. And when it comes to financing, Badcock makes it easy by offering you a plan that fits your budget. And be sure to ask about their 0% financing offer for up to 12 months. See Joe and Debbie Paris at Badcock Home Furniture and More, located on Maker Street at Walnut Street in downtown Jessup. Welcome to Smart Physical Therapy. My name is Garrett Pye. I'm a physical therapist with 11 years of experience in advanced manual therapy skills, and I have been recently certified in dry needling. Dry needling is a form of treatment that completely relieves those chronic trigger points and stiffness in your joints. Please call me anytime at 559-2071. My door is always open for a free consultation to help you decide which route you need to take to get your life back. Always remember, it's your choice on which facility you choose, so please call me, Garrett Pye, here at Smart Physical Therapy, and let's work as a team to address your goal. My number again is 559-2071. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. Mayhem is everywhere. I'm an extremely average golfer. I take my first full swing of the day and hit a perfect duck hook over the frontage road and right through your windshield. You yank the wheel and end up OB in a water hazard. And if you have cut rate insurance, you could be out a whole lot of green. So get Allstate. So call me, Will Hurst, your local Allstate agent at 912-385-2301 to help protect you from mayhem. So do you hit uh, duck hooks when you're out there on the links? I can barely hit it. So what is a duck hook? Basically, it's shaped like a duck's neck when, when you hit it? or yes, to the left. The, it's a duck hook. Okay. And the slice is to the right, correct? Slice to the right. Yeah. All right. Braves are back in action tonight, 627-35. They split with the split Mets. Split with the Mets, but they're still in first place by a game. game. But na- na- now one Washington game. is in second. I think it's one game over Philly and Washington is what I saw. Half, yeah, half a game, I think, one. well. My standing said one game, one full game over Philly and Washington, five games over the Mets. All right. Sports this morning on WIFO brought to you by Harris Ace Hardware. Check out these special offers from Harris Ace Hardware. Get a Stanley Power Lock tape measure and save $7 off the regular price. It's now only $4.99 with Ace Rewards card. Buy a Traeger Grill for $3.99.99 or more, and Harris Ace will assemble and deliver it free for Ace Reward card members. Plus, an Ace Lawn and Garden 2-gallon sprayer is only $9.99. Help for service and the best prices. Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. Time now for a look at in local sports and sports. The Braves split a doubleheader on Memorial Day, winning the day game over the Mets 4-3, dropping the nightcap 8-5. Braves and Mets again tonight here on Big Dog Country. 
FM 105.5 as the Braves remain in first place in the East. One game over both Philadelphia and Washington at a five-game lead over the Mets. Miami, the only team not in the race at the moment, is there 11 games out with a record of 20 wins and 33 losses. Braves baseball tonight here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Still time to sign up to beat Atlanta Braves sponsor on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Call the stage today, 427-3711, if interested in being a sponsor of Atlanta Braves baseball. NBA Finals are set to begin Thursday. It'll be the Golden State Warriors making their fourth straight trip, taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Best of seven, Golden State advanced by winning Game 7 Monday night in Houston, 101-92. Cleveland defeated Boston in Game 7. In Boston Sunday night, LeBron James makes the finals for the eighth straight time. He's won three, lost four. Jordan, six championships, six MVPs. Jordan still always will be the greatest of all time. High school graduation Friday night. Summer workouts begin today at the high school as all athletes are invited to come up to the gym to get bigger, faster, stronger for the upcoming season. Fall football will be here before you know it. August 10th, the scrimmage at J.C. Stadium against Hilton Head. First game August 24th against Long County. At Long County, that game just 88 days in counting for high school football. Again, summer workouts get underway today at the high school. NHL hockey, the finals are underway. Vegas Golden Knights win game one, 6-4 over the Washington Capitals. Vegas leads that best of seven, one game to none. Both Georgia baseball team and the girls softball team advance to the College World Series. Georgia going to be a host of one of the regionals in baseball. The girls softball team headed to Oklahoma for the championship. No official word yet from Athens, but it appears that Pierce County State Bennett will be leaving UGA looking to land with a team he can play quarterback this fall. We'll continue to have a story. Should be official someday this week. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you each and every day this time by your friends at Harris Ace Hardware. For all your medical needs, Tim's Home Medical on South First Street and Jessup has you covered.